My name is David Jacobs, and I have a spectacular belly button. It's perfectly symmetrical, and about a centimeter and a half deep, slightly deeper than the average navel. Of course, it's an innie. Innies are so much better than outies. Little spoke-like lines jut from the middle, out towards the reaches of my body. I have great eyelashes, too. Thick, long, devastatingly curly. Sometimes I wish other parts of me could be perfect instead. Icy blue intense eyes, pronounced cheekbones, and a masculine jawline strike me as more romantic features for physical perfection. Other times I wouldn't trade my belly button for anything in the world. My mind wanders a lot. Sometimes I think things none of my friends admit to thinking. Things that I've never seen on TV or read in books. I've learned who to share them with and how to share them. But part of me wishes I didn't have to go to the trouble. So I'll just give them to you as they come to me. Life can be hard, even for the educated, upper-middle-class, 22-year-old white male living in the United States. It seems like many people look back on this age as the high point of life, but they forget the pain and angst. It's daunting, not being sure what to do with myself. People tell me to appreciate it as a time without responsibility, when my future is open to any number of choices, but I just don't see things that way. When I think about all the possibilities to sort through, I get nervous, and a little upset to the stomach. I may be more nervous than most folks my age, and I'm certainly more neurotic, but I'm willing to bet a lot of us are apprehensive about our futures. There are many other things I'm afraid of. Snakes, chemicals, guns, cops, politicians, authority figures in general, muppets, authority figures with guns, midgets, muppets with guns, and steamrollers. A gear could fall out of place, or some unknown enemy of mine could steal the keys. I appreciate death and pain. I've had six different friends die, all of them within a couple of years of my age. The causes range from a surging river, to a botched drug deal, to an overwhelming sense of darkness and despair. Life is hard. I sometimes find myself bitching about it. But then I remember that it's worse for a lot of people. And not all of them have spectacular belly buttons. That makes me feel better. Besides, I'm alive. And if I weren't, it's just death. Death and pain aren't the end of the world. They're the world's defining characteristics. They say no man is an island. I'm not sure I agree. In terms of reliance, I think we all need other people to help us survive. And it would be hard to live in this world without any way to communicate basic emotional needs. But in terms of our deeper thoughts and feelings, we're all islands, close islands, accessible only during certain tidal and meteorological conditions. And even then, only the brave and experienced can traverse the shifting sandbars that bridge us to explore the rich wildness of our lands. I'd like a girl whose rich wildness I could explore right about now. That thought might seem out of place, but it's not. In fact, I think about sex 5,023 times per day. Just since I've been talking to you, I've had three separate fantasies involving an ex-girlfriend, a pair of knee-high stiletto boots, and the hood of a 93 Toyota Corolla, the wagon model. Don't ask. It's complicated. My brain spends half its energy preoccupied with procreation. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the virility I just wouldn't mind things slowing down a bit, especially now, when I'm alone. Well, that's it. It may seem random, but that's how the mind works, in wide, irregular patterns that make sense only to itself. But if you're lost and need to find it, just head towards sex, or belly buttons. You can be sure it'll turn up there soon.